Do you like coming back to America? Is it I just do. A, is it a culture shock every time you come and go back or I've done it so much that I, I easily yeah. adapt. Yeah, I yeah. easily adapt. Sometimes I ask myself, how do I do it? People ask like, how do you go back? Because yeah. I don't have 24 hour electricity. Um, we have uh, an electrical system, a, a solar system, but it's over five years. And so it's old. The batteries are old. I think we're down to like four batteries now. The batteries are, so the solar panels goes through an inverter, which charges the batteries. And then that same inverter takes the battery power, sends it to the house. And so it'll stay on for like a couple hours in the night to mm -hmm. turn on the fans. Yeah. And then it'll, it'll die because it'll run out of power, right? So they're like, they're like, what the heck? And I'm walking in my room and I hear, crack, crack, and it's my tiles breaking up all over the place. Yeah. And I, you know, my roof leaks. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and so it's like, what the heck? Or poor internet service as I'm trying to do a live show. Like, what the heck am I doing here? People would ask you, are you crazy when I told them I was going back to Haiti? Yeah. But I, I went back um, because I felt cold. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a vocation. Um, I do not blame anyone for leaving uh, because I think so many are put in a position where they cannot live with the dignity of the human person where the basic services are not provided to them. And so a lot of them leave to look for life, a better life. So I'm very sensitive, for example, to those um, trying to look for refuge in other countries or even in the U.S. There was a group of them at the border under the Texas bridge. And it, it saddened mm. me to see it so politicized because all I could see was wounded people because I know what they go through. I, I, I live with them. I, I see what can be a circumstance that could breed despair and des desperation. That's the word. When people are desperate. Yeah. They'll do anything to find life. I've seen a picture of a little plant breaking through uh, asphalt. Mm -hmm. I thought, wow, life just is going to find a way. And so people, I think, will go through whatever obstacle. So they will walk literally hundreds of miles, um, thousands even, in order to, because they think they're going to find better life. And it's a testament as well, I think, to the beauty of our country here. You know, we've got so much crap in the U.S., but also we've got so much opportunity. And I think we need to balance that. We need mm. to love the good things that we have, the opportunities. It's a beautiful country. I'm I'm proud to be in this country. I, I'm, I love this country that gave me all the formation that I received and everything else, you know. I love Haiti. I love the Haitians, and I love it. And, you know, the dignity of the human person must always be at the forefront of our conversations on, on race, on immigration and everything else uh, on poverty on how we treat people period which is why i think a catholic is in a difficult place you know um because people want to box people they want to box people in into yeah. like are you a conservative are you a liberal yep. are you a republican are you a democrat mm -hmm. I'm, I'm independent and I'm, i try to be a good christian following yep. the principles of christ wherever yeah. that takes me which is going yeah. to mean disagreeing with all uh, parties all exactly sides, to some degree a or another absolutely yeah If you like that clip, be sure to like and subscribe. Cheers.